next tragedy strikes accidents happen be there when the calls come in it's back-to-back -back episodes of rescue 911 next on discovery health channel Today on Rescue 911, catch a terrifying ride down a dangerous hill. Will one man's courageous efforts prevent a fatal disaster? Only on Rescue 911. On August 15, 1990, after spending weeks battling a series of forest fires 8,000 feet up in the mountains near the Idaho border, the Montana Indian firefighters were finally heading home to see their families. Peter Whitford was one of the bus drivers that day. There's 20, 20 or 21 firefighters and two crew. Ernie had two crews. Now that's a lot of guys to be putting on one bus, you know, to, especially all that weight, plus all their gear they put on there. Everybody ready to go? Everybody ready to go. Okay, Ernie, have a good trip back. Ernie Heavy Runner was going to be driving the bus behind Peter. We just told him just drive careful because it's a long ways to the bottom and you're going to be using brakes just about all the way. I was about 500 feet ahead of Ernie. Ernie, he's, he's been driving for quite a few years, you know. Good driver. Crew Chief Michael Bullcalf was seated in the front of Ernie's bus. We just pulled out, headed down a mountain. Nothing seemed wrong, you know. sound like these big trucks have when they step on air bricks. He was trying his different options. And he was messing with the wheel and he was trying his emergency brake and he was trying to gear down. But we had too much speed. The gears would just grind. tell it he was picking up speed pretty good so we just popped on mine if he could just hit the back end of my bus well I got my brakes on he can't go too far
hate to see a bunch of some guys go over the cliff. I figure I can prevent something. At the last moment, Peter moved over and Ernie drove right beside him. But everything happened so quick. I just kept crowding him over, and that came to my mind right then, and I wasn't going to let him go by me. I was right under looking, looking over at him. I asked him, you all right? He's a little shook up, but I don't blame him, you know? After everybody got off, I told Ernie, let's go, Ernie. Yeah. Okay. And he wouldn't let his steering wheel go. So I just kind of had to take his hands off for him and stand him up and help him out. Everybody out, Mike? Yep. Everybody out. OK. Yeah. Then I got out and looked the situation over. Never really dawned on me what we did until I got on the bus and looked the situation over the second time. Then I just kind of slowly fell apart right there. Uh, it hit me what happened. I'd say it's as close as you can come to losing not just one, but a few lives. On the next groundbreaking episode of Dr. G, Medical Examiner. Two police officers were patrolling in this area, and they hear some gunshots. They found this gentleman nude with a lot of blood on him. A chilling scene leaves investigators hunting for explanations. I'm sure he was panicked. That would be a very scary way to die. But the trouble is, there's no bullet, and no bullet wound to be found. Dr. G, Medical Examiner, Friday night at 9 on Discovery Health Channel. Two years later, Ernie Heavy Runner and Peter Whitford still drive the buses that transport the Montana Indian firefighters. Both men were presented with an award by the federal government for their heroic efforts that saved 42 lives that day. There's no doubt in my mind we could all die. Even if one of us lived, I know I, I wouldn't have wanted it been me because I wouldn't have wanted to have to live with it the rest of my life. I think Peter saved us all, really. He's the guy that drove into us and pushed us into the cut bank. The boys were thankful for what I did. They still thank me. Time they see him on the street. They say, you've done a good job, Pete. We're still walking around here. Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real-life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car, please.